We are going over Shin Yan today. She is by far one of the best four star characters that you guys have access to in Genshin Impact. If you have an account with Shin Yan on it, if you're new to the channel, we provide high quality data driven Genshin Impact character guides as well as content critique. If you want to see more stuff like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on. If that's not enough for you guys, we've been dared that if we hit 100,000 subscribers, we'll pull for C6 gone you and bite the bullet as long as we hit that deadline before the banner comes out that's right you could not only get top tier content but also witness the c6 goat actual goat anyways probably want to start working on her. she's really good she's really flexible as well if you haven't seen the full build guide we do do that stuff on this channel as well this is gonna be more of an expose sort of situation here now there are a lot of ways to use Shin Yan. you can use her as a full support character you can use her as a burst damage dealer we're going to be going over the ways that i'm using her right now with the gear that i have on her she's got some nice stuff finally got a good weapon for her and we've been leveling her up i do believe that she's my first character that i took above the 80 cap but i didn't really finish her out yet because she doesn't gain a ton of base stats like most characters going from you know 81 all the way up to 90 so the stuff that we have access to here, the cool stuff that she does do for you, she's very powerful in both elemental team compositions as well as physical team compositions. She's going to shine the most in a very straightforward way in physical team comps because of her two talents that she has to go with her sweeping fervor shield. Now, this is going to be where her support aspect comes from, this sweeping fervor shield. You guys have seen it. it puts a fire shield on you. And if you hit two or more enemies, when you use her sweeping fervor skill, it will pulse AoE pyro damage now the aoe pyro damage part on the shield isn't crazy good but you can use that in elemental team compositions maybe you're using a cryo or a hydro character you can let the shield pulse and you can hit them and you'll be able to proc vaporize or melt off of the shield that's why she's also flexible in that sort of non-physical team composition but the other stuff that she does do here is she has the ascension here now that's rock and roll the character who is protected by the shield is going to do 15 percent increased physical damage this can be additive with your physical damage up stats so she's going to be there to increase damage for your team while reducing damage taken on a hyper carry such as maybe like razor she's very strong with razor as a physical hyper carry and uh razor can provide that super conduct debuff they work very well together now if you did get some extra versions and extra copies of a shinyan the two super super strong constellations now you have the first one c4 this one's pretty powerful when she hits an enemy their physical resistance is going to be dropped by 15 percent for 12 seconds now this does in fact stack with superconduct as you can see with the footage playing here superconduct will drop it by 40 percent and then this will drop it by another 15 percent so if you're using this in conjunction maybe you have like razor's bite maybe you've got some copies they're both on this new banner the 15 percent defense down that's not physical resist down that's 15 percent defense down that's going to work right alongside of that as well as superconduct as you can see we hit the highest number, procking superconduct, procking bite, swapping her, hitting it, and swapping back to our boy Razor. That's where we get those big numbers there. So that's gonna be something super awesome there. But the big one here that really changes up what you can do with her with a unique build and the one that I've played around with the most, and it does increase both her survivability for your team and her supportive aspects on top of her big burst damage that can she, she can do. This is with Rift Revolution, her elemental burst here. Now this makes it increase its critical hit rate to 100%. I realize it does say by 100% and most other things in the game that say by 100% means double whatever the stat is that you have. We see this a lot of the times with the weapons, right? Like the Unforged and the uh, Memory of Stardust. This says increase it by 100%. This attack increase effect is increased by 100%. That means double. But for whatever reason, maybe it's a poor translation, but the way that it works is it actually makes it so it automatically critically hits. So this means you can build her as a support, you can build her for some attack, some energy recharge, maybe a little bit of defense help out her barrier and some critical hit damage. You don't have to build critical hit chance on her whatsoever if you're not going to be using her as a hyper carry. If you're using her as a support character for your hyper carry like Razor, or maybe you have her in a uh, elemental team composition where you're, you're trying to vaporize like Mona's ult, or maybe you're trying to vaporize child's damage with the multiple AoE procs that you get from both her elemental skill shield as well as her elemental burst, you're gonna be able to crit that all the time. Now, on top of that, when you use your elemental burst, it's going to increase the uh, the effectiveness of your defensive capabilities with this character because it will put up a brand new shield that starts at the max level, shield level three. So you're gonna have the ability to put up a shield with your elemental skill. And then if you have C2, another shield with your elemental burst. Now, on top of that, you don't need to have all that stuff. And if you wanna use her as a straight up 
you know, sort of support character. You're going to be looking for energy recharge. You're going to be looking for defense percent. And she is very flexible in the weapons that you guys can use with her. So she can use a lot of different stuff. We go mostly into huge in-depth detail with this in the actual character guide. But uh, for a quick little take over here, if we go to the archive, she works well with a lot of stuff, right? So you have a lot of different claymores that are very powerful with her. If you're using her as a straight up damage dealer, you have the prototype animus, you can use that there. If you want some extra defense to make better shields, you have the white blind because it gives you the defense percent. And then it's gonna give you some attack and defense when you attack with it. If you want to go focus on the black cliff slasher, which you can get with star glitter, that's gonna be a very powerful damage dealing weapon for you there as well, because this gives you critical hit damage as its secondary stat there, extremely powerful. And then if you wanna use her as like a, a slight support carry, maybe you have her at Constellation 6, you want her out about swinging Serpent Spine with her in the party, can be either used on her or also very powerful for Razor as well, because you can have the elemental shields running around on Razor. You can have hers, maybe using Diona as well for that superconduct with the electricity of the attacks from Razor. So you can have Diona for shields, you're gonna have Shenyan for shields, you can safely put that Skyward Spine on Razor, take a couple hits, have those barriers prevent the damage uh, stacks from falling off and just get the bonus crit hit chance and the bonus damage over time from Serpent Spine. And those stacks do stay on, remember guys, while you're out and about. Now on top of that, you can also use cool stuff like the Favonius Greatsword or the Sacrificial Greatsword. If you wanna have more uptime on your shields, maybe you are straight running her either as uh, straight up, you want as many shields as possible, you want more elemental bursts. These are weapons are gonna give you energy recharge. And then the sacrificial shield is going to have that chance when you use your elemental skill to reset the cooldown of your elemental skill so you can put the uh the shield up swap over a razor do a bunch of damage maybe the shield goes down you can swap right back over to shinyan put the shield back up again as well so she's got a lot of different stuff that you guys can do with her and play with her in a lot of different ways but let's go mess around and see what we can do with her uh in genshin impact so we're gonna go mess around some domains with her we're just taking her on a double pyro double geo team there's no super conduct in this team this is just her being there. Lots of shields in this team, lots of crystallized effects. We have Zhenyan shield, we have Noel shield, we have Benny Adventure Time in there with his elemental burst to give us some passive HP regen. This is just the, the go-to team that I take to do my daily. Any sort of domain I go and do, I use pretty much this team for everything. Just, it's very, very solid, very rock solid. Two different characters who can heal, two different people who can shield. It's just a good time. So let's just uh, get the party started off here, hit multiple people, good to go. We're gonna spin around a little bit here. The shield is uh, making them making them scared of me. All right, let's go in here. Let's pop this because I want them to group up. Group up, boys. Group up, boys. Boys, boys, you want to group up? All right, boys can group up. They take a lot less physical damage in here, dude. Not very much physical damage in here. So this is one of them domains that's just not all that, not all that helpful because we're not taking their lightning off, um, which is kind of funny, but it's whatever. Just pop them up real quick. Just quick smashes. And uh, good showcase here of the giant damages on them slimes. So let's see if we can do something better here. Pop this off on the, this little mage here. Boom, bop, bop, pop, pop. Don't teleport. Why are you teleporting away, dude? Why do you got to teleport? A little 89K arena right there. If we had Superconduct, that'd probably be like 120, 130K, something like that. So pretty much a uh, big damage on certain enemies with this team composition nothing super crazy here didn't have any of this planned out i don't even actually know off the top of my head what exactly we need to be doing for this okay let's just hit that guy we didn't have our stacks up uh, we didn't have benny adventure time shield going let's see if we can quickly give this back to her get some elemental recharge here I've also been doing like a triple pyro team, which is pretty hilarious. We've taken this team. This is one of my main teams I use um, all the way up to, uh, we're on floor 12 of the Spiral Abyss. So we use that constantly. That's pretty good damage. We don't have Bennies all that time. Yeah, we had the stacks that time. So maybe next time we'll be able to hit her for even more. We're just kind of messing around. Obviously not the, the craziest gameplay ever, but you know, just kind of run around, just kind of run around, do stuff and uh, hit enemies and uh, have fun with that. Let's see if we can go in here and get, give me some good stuff. Give me some, I do want some more Thunder Soother. No, not some Thunder Soother, some Thundering Fury. What's this one? I'll take that Hourglass of Thunder. I'll take the Hourglass of Thunder. Now I am working on a Super Conduct team for her, but it's not out there yet. If I put a level a level 40 raise my party, you know how many comments down below? Why are you going to raise her? Because I, I don't have infinite EXP books, man. I'm sorry, dude. I can't, I can't showcase every character. Thing. We can map out every character of the game. We can't showcase every character of the game. So this is going to be the Pyro Dungeon. I think this is the one that hits you with Pyro all the time. Um, so we're going to be running around here. Oh, what's up, dude? Venti says hello. Why you got to be like that? Ven that's not Venti. 
Wrong character. You know what? Come here. Come here. I'm also infinitely worse on camera, I swear. I swear it happens. It happens. I'm just going to spin a little bit, get some HPs back. Cool beans. Cool beans it is. So we entered here with literally nothing. We just kill these dudes and get on to the next one. Little Ningguang showcase here. Little Ningguang showcase. No problem. No problem. All right. Good to go. Ready to roll. All right, boys. All right, boys. You know what time it is. Come on over here. Step my way. Walk this way. Walk this way, baby. Where are you going? Where's your boy at? Where's your boy? Where's your other boy? Come on, home slice. Come on, home slice. Get together. All right, whatever. No shield damage. So 62K, that's that's pretty good. We stood there. I was trying to get them to gather together. I don't have any, like, we kept knocking them away, actually, is the real thing. Brother, where are you going, dude? I'm going to do this one up. We're going to do a do-over on this. God, Noel, he's so strong. Noel, why are you so strong? Why is Noel so strong? Why she hit for 15K? No, no effort. She doesn't even have her stuff leveled up yet. She's level 80 still. She only got 20 crit hit rate. One one like for, for one Noel in the comment section. That's all I'm saying. That's all I can say. Crazy. I think people really under underestimate the, the ability to just tank and spank through a lot of stuff in this game. Especially on the higher abyss floors. If, no barriers? You got to play perfectly if you don't have a barrier squad. I feel when I'm playing this squad on 12, I feel I feel right as rain. I feel indestructible. Well, I think Bennett is swapped out for Klee or no. Bennett is someone else, like Shingling, because I don't need Zen Yan and Bennett in the same team. But I feel so powerful with shields in this game. So good. Maybe I'm just bad at dodging and everything, but that floor makes it really hard for you to dodge everything. So I don't know. I'm just going to, you know, Beyblade on him a little bit here. You know, just Beyblade. Get my uh, HP back up. Gain some energy here. Oh, that, uh, that little bit of pyro damage there Hurt, hurts my soul. Oof. We didn't have all the stacks on our swords. We didn't have a little bit of extra attack, but. You know, they went, uh, they kind of went right down. Kind of went right down. Um, but this is how this team usually works out. You just kind of get in there and smack them around. We got crystallized everywhere. We got shields, shields for days. This guy tried to take me out. I can't take damage with this team. It's pure power. It's the pure power team. About to send this man home too. Where you about to go home, dude. Expiration Express. 81K. No superconduct. So... Once I get the Superconduct team together, it's going to be uh, for commonplace daily stuff, not just for the Abyss. Your teams change all the time for the Abyss. Shinyan, Bennett, Razor, and then our girl, uh, our girl Diona. That's going to be a very powerful team. Math it out insanely. You're going to have Superconduct. You have defense down from uh, Razor. If you have Bite, you're going to have the physical damage up Shield. You're going to have a little bit of extra physical damage uh, from Shinyan hitting things with C4. If you have that one, that adds up a little bit there as well. You're going to have Superconduct, and you have the big Bennett alt for a lot of attack as well so that's gonna be huge you're gonna have hyper carry razor in there doing a bunch of damage so support zinyan help, helping him do damage and then when her elemental burst charges up every once in a while you have the double pyro as well for extra attack percent like what does she have right now 2732 and a lot of this comes from a level it up like 90 five star weapon however if you have a four star weapon you're still gonna have like 480 something attack there so you're gonna be probably floating around like the 2.2k range with like a four star weapon maybe you have like uh the prototype grudge on her if you have the black cliff weapon you're pretty closer to like 2k because there's no percent attack on the on the black cliff claimer but you're gonna have much more critical hit damage now uh the stats on the artifacts if you want to go ahead and take a look at these real quick i did them at the end of the video instead of the start of the video because a lot of people skip over it analytics says so but this is what i'm running on her right now for the uh, c2 burst damage all you care about you care about physical damage and your elemental burst damage that's it you could run her for like more shield support Run her more tanky, more defensive stats. But we have two-piece Bloodstained Chivalry. Physical damage, 25%. That's a plus. Two-piece uh, Noblest of Elige. Elemental damage, 20%. That's going to count the activation, as well as a little bit of extra fire damage that happens afterwards. Now, as far as the uh, stats on each artifact are concerned, very easy with C2. You're just looking for a couple things. These, these stats right here, these four stats, this is what you're looking for. Defense percent, energy recharge, attack percent, critical hit damage. For the most damage, you're looking for attack percent and critical hit damage. Those are the two most important ones. You want to have a faster elemental burst. Energy recharge is going to help you out. And then a little bit of extra defense is going to increase her survivability when you swap it in and out and increase the shield amount on your shield strength 
by a little bit there so that's a fantastic flower that we have access to there this one here critical hit damage attack percent was happy with that kept that maybe replace it in the future who knows and we have the royal walk uh the royal pocket watch that i almost called the royal walk punch the royal pocket watch here critical hit damage 21 percent it's gonna be hard for me to replace this uh because attack percent and then critical hit damage sub could i get defense percent down here some energy recharge sure am i gonna try and get that no way that'd be nice too and someone else one day eventually um so that's the pocket watch there that's gonna be her sands you want to attack percent sands there now this one here physical damage goblet this is gonna be i have the wanderer string cut line it's my off piece right i'm wearing two piece bloodstain two piece noblest don't need a, a, another piece to match this so i just this is the best thing that i had comes with uh 58 physical damage bonus then it's got energy recharge and a, a critical hit damage as well and it's got a little bit of flat attack there 54 flat attack that could be better with a percentage attack but very nice goblet probably won't replace it anytime soon definitely not with that one and then the mask here critical hit damage critical damage here is what you need here and uh critical damage here attack percent energy recharge it did roll a little bit of critical hit rate don't need that but this is the only piece of gear that i have with critical hit rate um but uh you know what right as rain this is kind of what i'm keeping right now my total stats if you guys want to see my total stats i value looking at total stats more than anything else you can see we're getting uh 1885 attack uh, from gear and only 109 uh defense from gear there overall we have 10 percent critical hit rate because of the 5.8 on our circlet normally we would be at the base of 566 critical hit damage we could eat this up a little bit more if we're a little bit lucky or if you're using a black cliff uh, the black cliff uh four star weapon that comes from the star glitter shop you're gonna have like i said you're gonna have a lot less attack you're gonna have like uh you know probably you know, like 600 600 ish minimum less attack um because of the five star stats but you're gonna have 50 something percent extra critical hit damage that's gonna help you out a lot because your big attack is the one that crits all the time so that helps out a lot you're not do you're not gonna do as much damage as this build but you're not gonna be too too far behind the black clip weapon is super good so is the prototype weapon the prototype animus um outside of that we have a little bit of energy recharge with the power for shield that comes from the weapon i'm wearing and then we have 83 percent physical damage bonus this comes from the 25 percent from the two piece of the bloodstain set and we have that kettle that is the goblet that we're wearing which has 58 percent on it that's where that stuff is coming from her attribute that she gets from leveling up um is uh, oh we can't look at it but it's attack percent so she gains attack percent leveling up so it's gonna help her, her you out there with this build once we get it to like 90 we'll probably have like 2780 attack nothing majorly different there uh when it comes to shinyan so if you guys have a lot of shinyans laying around you might want to think about if you have a team that she's going to fit in specifically a physical team really prioritizes on her quite easily just throw her in there if you're using superconduct anything if you're in a superconduct team and using uh shingling right physical damage with the uh, crescent uh crescent bike if you're using superconduct you're making zongli your carry she's going to fit right in there as well if you're using a team like that if you're using razor any sort of superconduct team throw her in there make group of her she's going to do great things for you especially if you have her at c2 action for survivability for your hyper carry and then she's going to be able to come in and do big damage there you want to focus on her talents just her shield and just her elemental burst if you're using her just for a support with that big burst damage if she's not out there hitting things with her with her normal charge deck all the time you don't need to level those up because you're not using them outside of that there's other teams that you can utilize her with right we talked about the uh the aoe pulse and the shield you see it pulsing all the time you can use it to vaporize some of child attacks as well or uh the one thing that i haven't tested yet because i haven't done it and i don't have a friend who actually owns a level up mona i do want to test out is see if the timing because that's the one thing you can map a lot of things out in genshin impact but the one thing you can't really map out is timing for the most part and see if you can actually execute it i want to see if you could land a moda omen omen debuff on her elemental burst and then proc get that damage in here with uh, her elemental burst on shinyan and then have it vaporize and then re-put up pyro element so when mona's debuff wears off and the actual bubble pops you vaporize that as well which could be a very strong wombo combo with that but with that being said guys thank you so much for coming to hang out checking out the shinyan sssss plus tier which definitely isn't a tier video i didn't know if you guys knew that and we're over here for standing in the fire until then guys want to see more stuff for genshin impact content like the high-end content that you saw at the beginning where we have actual character guides look forward to more of that stuff soon we have a razor coming out and possibly some other characters you guys keep asking me for if you want to see more stuff you know what to do notification bell on or we're going back into the youtube netherverse until then guys i'll see you in the next one